Hello everyone! Julia is here. I am so glad to see you today, guys. Thank you for watching and drawing with me. And today you will learn how to draw a seahorse. So what you will need? You will need paper, pencil and something to color with. It could be color pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you have at home. I wish you a happy drawing, guys! So let's start and have some fun! Ok, guys, today we will be drawing a seahorse. So, let's start drawing from small, um, simple shapes. I will be drawing its head, first of all, and it will be a circle. It will be its head and a bigger circle, it will be its body. So, draw not far away from this one, draw a bigger circle. And even maybe you can make it bigger. So, like this. And now we will connect the circles with curved lines, like this. So, this curved line and go in one more curved line here. A little bit even more curved. And then we wrap out these lines, which we don't need, and connect it like this and now we will be drawing its tail and it will be drawing going from this and then curved line and a little bit curved here so and repeating and going up so here we go our seahorse is almost ready we just need to add some few details here so We'll be drawing its snout here. So, just two lines like this, and then drawing two curved lines here. And now we will draw its eye, it's a circle in the middle, and one more circle inside. And don't forget to add some even spotlights. So, if you want to make it colorful, uh, then we will draw one more circle and a spotlight inside. You can draw eyebrow if you wish or our eyelashes. And I will make funny eyelashes today, like a, a flower. Just few petals, it will be instead of its eyelashes. And now what we'll have to add, we will be drawing a coronate here. So it's like triangles, one, two, three. And now we will go down. It's actually going all along its body. So just creating these triangles and here in the middle of its, just in front of its tummy, we will draw a fin. It's really very important part of its body, these curved lines here. So it's a fin, it helps our horse, um, seahorse to swim, so it's very important. And now we go, do go down with our triangles and it, it, they are becoming smaller because the tail is smaller. So triangles are becoming also very small. Like this. And you can keep going or just stop here. It's just to, uh, it's just what you will decide to do. And, and now I will re uh, repeat this curved line here just to make some patterns and to show these lines, curved lines here, just about patterns. And I will also draw some maybe spots because you know, see horses they can change colors and become of different colors and just to make it look funny you can draw different spots and maybe some other patterns you will decide to create guys 
and I will use a black marker to make it brighter, to look brighter. And now I will also create some sea space around our seahorse. So what we would be drawing, I would create just maybe some grass and maybe some corals and you can draw even small fishes if you wish and they can be big and small it's just up to your imagination here it's just up to you what you will decide to create today and it can be different fishes like this so i'm drawing an oval and a small circle here and a curved line and now i'm drawing fins they can be also very curved and just showing this smile and eyes and look how funny can be our fish and you can make them of different shapes and i will also draw some um, corals here just very simple and easy drawing like this and you can create corals of your own shapes and colors and maybe you will draw some fantastic beautiful plants it's just up to you guys and i would be happy to see your beautiful drawings don't forget to share with me and we are creating this our own imagination world here and isn't it fantastic we are almost like cartoon makers creating our own world and our own picture and this is what i really love about drawing that you can draw almost anything you wish and there are no limits here it's just up to your imagination so here i will draw some sand just to show it here and you will can draw even more different plants and corals like this with different patterns and they can be bigger and smaller and i will be doing one more here just to make it look funny and here we go and now I will also draw jellyfish just to make it look realistic under the sea world so I'm drawing this semicircle here and just few curved lines here very easy repeating this curved lines again like this so and now i'm drawing two circles and a smile and the circles inside it will be its eyes and you can make lashes and dots and spots if you need and spotlights inside and now we'll create this curved lines here it looks like it's legs so and you can draw as many as you wish guys and some of them will be shorter some will be longer so this is a jellyfish and now i will only just color it and maybe just a few bubbles here just to show that we are under the sea and of course bubbles to our fishes and you can draw more fishes of different colors and i will just use a black marker to make this picture look brighter and cute so guys i will start coloring our seahorse with its eye and i will make it green and you can make it absolutely different color um, it's just up to you and my seahorse uh, would be yellow and orange and you can make it red or maybe blue just any color you wish because seahorses can change the colors so it's just up to you which color you will decide to color it it can be blue and purple and it can be different colors so you can make different combinations and it could be bright and maybe you will decide to add some more patterns to our seahorse 
it's absolutely fine and I'm just coloring it yellow and then make this spots red orange red and you can maybe make them green or blue or maybe you will decide to make it rainbow colors or add some stripes and seahorses are not very fast they are swimming not too fast so they use usually the fin to swim so and working really hard with it in order to swim fast but it's not so fast as other fishes can be and i will use pink for its blush here and orange red for this stripes and spots just to make it look cuter funny but it's very look like very realistic one so And I love our seahorse, it's so bright and funny. An absolutely unusual shape, I would say. So, here we go. Our seahorse is almost ready. I'm just trying to be accurate while I'm coloring. Just try to color it in one direction and if you are using pencils then maybe you can color it even faster and you can make it thin of a different color maybe pink or green or blue I, I will just leave it the same color but you can make it absolutely different So here we go and now I will be coloring fish and I will use pencil just to make it different combinations in order to show that you can color with different materials and it would be cute in different materials. It could be paints or maybe you are using crayons it's absolutely doesn't matter because all materials are working great so and now I will be coloring our jellyfish and I will make it purple with pink I think would be funny to make it pink and you know that some jellyfishes can glow in the dark so they also can be very dangerous so don't touch them and I will make different colors here so maybe one will make it pink will look just now I will leave it for pink and we'll look how it looks so pink blush and it looks like skirt I would say it's very cute they will make this one this leg look pink just to make it funny I would say and you can also shade it if you're using pencils and press harder then you can show shadows and light if you like making shadows and light so then it will be looking very funny and now I will be coloring corals I will make it orange maybe orange with um, brighter orange I will just show you how to mix the colors if you are using pencils so just blending it it's very easy and looks usually pretty so I'm just coloring this 
And now I will be blending with darker orange, like this. Making this pot look cute. So look how it looks just amazing, it works. It's very easy and usually works perfect and great and looks amazing. Very professional look, I would say. So you can easily do it and repeat. And now I will be coloring this one, I would say, maybe this blue, blue green, some cute color I would use. And you can make them of different colors. Why not? Why, why not to make it rainbow colors? So. And here we go. Looks already great. And now I will be coloring this one. Maybe I will use some pink and red colors. Just use pink for this one. And red, bright red for this one. So just to make it look brighter. So here we go. And it can be different colors. You can mix it up. And now I will show the sand. Look how cute already looks our picture. I will just add some yellow for the sand. And remember, you can make it more brown or maybe a little bit gray. And we can maybe try to add some brown just to show you the idea of how you can use it. So you don't need to color everything with brown, but just a little bit somewhere just to draw some shadows because under the sea we also have light and shadows. And look, it's becoming looking like volume. And now I will be coloring this part with blue, but you can color these bubbles absolutely different colors and may, made them just rainbow colors, or maybe you will leave them white or make them bright, or leave them white, uh, or make them pink, or maybe even purple. And I will just color them with blue just to make them brighter to look on the picture on your screen. But you can leave them just white. It's up to you. So, or maybe you will decide to make much more bubbles here. So, and we are showing that everything is under the sea. So, our seahorse is swimming in the sea. That is why we are coloring our page with blue pencil. And these lines, if you can see them, I'm shading it slightly. They are very light and showing just the water. Look, it's already just so beautiful. And look, guys, how cute is our seahorse? Isn't it just fantastic? And what is the most important that we have created it by ourselves, just with pencils, markers and a piece of paper. Well done, guys! Thank you for watching this video, guys, and drawing the seahorse with me. I really love drawing with you, my art friends. And if you enjoy my lessons, please like this video and subscribe on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to share your beautiful art talks on my Facebook page. The link to which is below this video. Thank you. See you soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.